When the film has nearly 25 minutes of ads before it starts, that usually is kind of a bad sign. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. I am still amazed that this movie actually exists. I thought it was a joke at first, especially when I saw this clip. Bite me. This is actually, in fact, a real movie about how every super moon, the entirety of humanity who is out in the moonlight gets turned into a werewolf. On paper, this should sound cool. It's like The Purge, but with werewolves. Hell, it even has Frank Grillo, and he was in one of the Purge movies, so you would think it would at least be a somewhat okay, probably pretty stupid, but at least entertaining romp. No. No wrong. This has got to be one of the worst movies I've seen this year. There was not a lot of people in the theater with uh, my associates and I, but it was so bad that people walked out of it. That's the first time I've seen a walkout in a while, but holy shit, it was bad. The idea that an event happened previous where a ton of people turned into werewolves and the world was completely overthrown by it, so now they're prepared. They are hoping to find a cure on the eve of the next supermoon while also preparing for it. Would you know it, the slightest inconvenience during the testing phase has everything go to literal shit. I mean when a thingamabobby that sprays a sunscreen that apparently blocks out the moonlight gets tossed into a crate, every light bulb, mechanical fixture, and safety measure immediately breaks. That is how stupid we get off onto the start. And from there we get a series of idiot moments followed by stupid nonsense, followed by probably seven dollars worth of budget trying to be expanded to seven thousand dollars. Frank Grillo in this movie is okay. He's every character he always plays in every movie, so you know, that's whatever. It's the other characters in this movie that are pretty bad. There's his sister-in-law whose husband was killed by the werewolves last year. She is in her house with her daughter and she's just terrible, guys. I don't know if it's the direction being given. Uh, the writing's not really good either, like anywhere in this movie, but her character is is nothing but a red flag of what you would not do in these kind of situations. It doesn't really help any form of immersion when this is a pretty significant event and everyone leaves their goddamn house lights on. The thing that you would not want to have is any attention drawn to your house, no? The first thing I thought of is, well, you put up all these defenses and then you just go around the entire yard with ammonia. It doesn't draw any human smell into it. It makes me think of the girl of all the gifts. There is a barrel of uh, bear spray that apparently is set up along the fence line that is used once, an entire barrel. And that's it. The whole time I was watching this movie, I kept on wondering how did this get a theatrical release? What made this movie any different from going on a shitty streamer? This feels like one of those 10 million movies that Bruce Willis was doing when his illness was really at a bad point and he was just kind of doing whatever and producers were taking advantage of his state. The only, only positive with this movie is that the werewolves look decent, but the problem is they can't really move. They just keep on standing there going, it's cool that they use practical, not gonna deny that. That is the only positive, people. Everything from the writing to the logic to the fucking cinematography. I think the guy's name is Brandon Cox or something. The DOP is a fucking dickwad. Not only does he have an unnecessary amount of lens flares in this movie to the point where it is childish. It is so unprofessional that there are certain scenes. I think he's just giving the middle finger to people who have epilepsy. There wasn't a warning going into this movie, which is, I mean, whatever, you know, you get that for big animated movies, but there is a point in this movie that would trigger any person with epilepsy. The movie looks like shit, the story plays out like shit, the characters are shit, and honestly, the action's kind of shit too. There's maybe one or two moments that might be kind of like, ooh, that looks good, but I can tell you're also using Adobe After Effects for the gunshots, but it felt so boring. This is an hour and a half, yet it felt like a goddamn decade. They try to instill fear with certain situations, but it's so poorly portrayed between the characters. There's points where you see the same action happening. They're walking around with pistols and they're just like doing these poses because I think that's all they can do. Again, I am very amazed that I actually saw this movie and that it exists. It is 
very poorly put together. It has no warrant to it. The logic is just so mind-numbingly dumb, despite the fact that it felt like it had some smarts to it for maybe the first five minutes. But after that, it just falls apart. If you want a good werewolf movie, just go watch Dog Soldiers. It's two decades older than this movie, yet it probably looks three decades better than this movie does. In the end, I'm going to give werewolves a one out of seven. Do not go and see this movie. Even if you think it might be fun, don't. I wasted $15 on this piece of shit. Anyways guys, what's your favorite werewolf movie? Have you seen Dog Soldiers? I'll admit, I actually haven't seen it, but I've seen retrospective talks about it, and it looked really good from what I've seen. Give me your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.